were invited to yes. the Vatican, and, and it wasn't like they asked you to recant or... <laughs> There was no execution well, or anything? Let me talk about that. I'll yeah. It was actually, I will say it remains to this day. I'm not sure we were, if it remains for those rest of you. One of the most interesting meetings I've ever attended. We stayed inside the Vatican itself. And if you've ever been there, you know, if you start to approach, it's so Swiss gar guards are all really well dressed. But we had a special key. It was literally like this big, the key chain and the key. Because we stayed in the, inside the Vatican where the cardinals stay when they choose the new pope. And it's, you know, they're really plain. It has to be sort of plain, but this was the most fancy plane you've ever seen. And we had our meeting in the place where Pope Pius IV's old residence. And actually the room where we met, it was so civilized because you had to press a button for your microphone, but only two buttons would work at once. So any other party couldn't jump in and start arguing as we usually do with each other. Um, <laughs> the food was tremendous. They fed us two meals a day, which were unbelievable. Many courses, each course had a different type of wine. <laughs> But actually, you want to know what, what was the real reason we were there, and I'm really glad that this part came up because I have a special word that I use for it, and this is a word I came up with a friend one time quite some time ago, and we call it the awakening. What we mean by this is that the world is starting to realize, and the Vatican realized that actually this meeting I think was in 2009, so it was well before most of the rest of the world, that we're getting close. We're getting closer and closer to possibly finding signs of life. Now, they never told us the real reason they gathered um, 30 of us there. What do you, it's but, not obvious. No, it the is The great plane, well, the fabulous food. They say, <laughs> forget science. Well, the thing is, they Give were, me the Bible and more were, of that right. better they were very, um, They were extremely sensitive to, uh, like, we weren't there to talk about religion, although, of course, it came up when we were on our own. But, you know, they really want to know what is the chance. It's really they have to figure out what it means when we find life elsewhere. That's for them to find out. But they had us there to sort of figure out um, whether it was going to happen anytime soon or whether they should worry about it. You know, is it possible that, uh, you know, what we've been describing here, that it, it's a very difficult task to get the initial conditions for life to uh, figure out exactly where in the universe it might happen um, and to detect it as it happens or close to as it's happened. Um, is it possible that we could have cheated? You raised your hand earlier that right. it's possible that uh, life forms from another place have already encountered Earth and that in some sense, we might be the product of it. Right, so there's a very natural mechanism for the transport of microorganisms from 